exactly do you plan to be a search engine for talent without having any bias at all? Well, thank you so much for having me on, Emily. Um, so Pioneer is a project, as you mentioned, aimed at finding the millions of kind of lost Einsteins around the world. We kind of believe that for every uh, uh, Elon Musk, Marie Curie, or Albert Einstein, there are millions more that don't achieve or reach their full potential. Mm -hmm. So we're trying to use the kind of power of software and the internet to find these people at scale. How? Well, unlike traditional grant programs, where you got a very small set of people reviewing thousands of applications, what happens with Pioneer is prospective applicants compete in what's what we call the Pioneer Tournament, which is a 30-day event, takes place over a month. And instead of just submitting one application, you submit and demonstrate progress over the course of 30 days. And instead of having five or six people review all of your work that may have biases, we have the community, the other prospective applicants vote on whether they find your work interesting or ambitious. And we think that the power of crowdsourcing has a tremendous role to play in being able to highlight people from kind of unrepresented uh, or uh, you know, more diverse backgrounds. So you're not just looking for entrepreneurs, right? This is across many, many fields. That's right. We're looking for people that seem interested, curious about the world, and have a project they're working on. A project could be anything. It could be a company you want to start, but it could also be work in fundamental physics that you want to do, or art that you want to create, or music that you want to do. Because we think that there's a lot of people out there in the world that are kind of self-editing themselves out of success. They're not even sure that they can reach their full you know, potential. When I think of one of the main benefits I got out of Y Combinator, it really wasn't really the investment as much as someone telling me that I should take that idea that I had a little bit more seriously. And by the way, you applied to YC from Jerusalem while you were attending a military prep camp. And that, how old were you? I was 18 when I applied, the youngest uh, person to apply at the time. Uh, and so what I want to try to do is I want to find people that will be significantly more successful than I was. Um, how do you find those people? Well, we're doing a bunch of things in order to try to reach them. First, as I mentioned, our application process is, I think, unlike anything else that's ever been done. No one's really tried to use software to find these people. Second is we're trying to get the word out using kind of the same growth hacking techniques that Silicon Valley has used to get their product out there to different markets in the world. Looking for people that are trying to get visas into various countries. Looking for people that are doing research in various domains and targeting them and trying to reach them. Thirdly, we've recruited a uh, whole network of, of a diverse set of experts in different domains, industry experts from different categories, ages, backgrounds, and hopefully those folks will serve as an inspiration to people looking to apply. Some of the people backing this include Mark Andreessen, the folks at Stripe, CEO Patrick Collison. You, I guess my question is, you know, let's take gender as, as one example, which I'm, I'm very concerned about. How do you make sure that the people who are voting the people who are part of this more collaborative process don't bring their own biases into the in, into the process itself because you know words yeah. like genius words like visionary we use those words to describe men we don't often use those words to describe women using gender as just one example yeah we actually don't use the word genius anywhere on our site we use these words of, of creative outsiders ambitious outsiders and we spend a lot of time thinking about this making sure that we don't frame the site in a way that would be um, pejorative or negative to anyone uh, I remember myself when I was applying to Y Combinator uh, I, I came to the site many times and kind of thought to myself that it must have not been for me. And so we're very sensitive to the fact that the main barrier we're working against is people's own self-editing. Uh, and so we're very cognizant of kind of reducing the almost activation energy required to get a submission in. Now, it's very important. You were actually on the show many years ago for your original company, which was a search engine for the iPhone, right? That's right. And then you got bought by Apple, and now this is a search engine for talent. What have you learned in that whole process? through you know, working at Apple that you want to bring to this? Well, the largest observation I made in, my, in the entire journey that I had coming out from practically nowhere in Israel to Silicon Valley, raising a series A and B from Sequoia, selling the company to Apple at 23, running 
a large set of machine learning teams at Apple, there's one thing that I kept on noticing over and over, which was the role that luck played in my success. And what we're trying to do with Pioneer is, re is remove the amount of luck you need in order to be successful. The fact that you know I had a serendipitous encounter with someone who took a bet on me is something that we're trying to systematize. Mm -hmm. uh, and so the goal is for Pioneer to kind of skew the odds in favor of talent, potential, and ambition, not luck or where you came from.